Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the episode of GTA, where today I'm going to be making my in real life garage in GTA. Wow, that's like the title of the video! Hit that like button if you like cars. You got to, man. Well, I have a really big passion for vehicles. I like them. So this is just three of the vehicles that I've had in the past, and they're all being stored in this garage downtown. So we gotta make our way down there, pick them up, and uh, test them out a little bit. I like testing things, too. I don't like tests, so I'm not good at tests. Math? Mm-mm. Hey, buddy. Hey, do you know where this garage is downtown? I really- it's new. I don't know where it is. Hey, taxi! I need to drive. Yeah, he's fine. Well, well, yeah, that's fine. I'll take that. I don't know what happened to him. He fell asleep or something. Something. <clears throat> oh yeah, is that ever new? Look at that thing. All the cars up top too. A little workshop in the bottom. What? That's cool. All right. Bro, this thing is cool. They got security cameras. Look at this. What? Huh? They got their own gas station in here. That you know, that's how you know somebody's rich. <laughs> I wish I had a gas station in my house. A little gaming station? Oh man. Well, that could be a security station too, who knows. A lot of valuable cars here. We're gonna go up and hopefully my cars be up here? That wasn't a full sentence, Spears. Learn how to speak. Hopefully my cars will be up here. Here they are, the three musketeers? The three cars? I don't- Now, I don't know what this shop did. They must have repainted them because none of them look like my vehicles in real life. By the way, I don't still own these. I still own this one right here, but these two, no. My addiction in life is cars, and that's- it's not a good one. It's bad. But yeah, the first one we're gonna take out here is the, uh, the Bronco. Now, this thing is an absolute beast, bro. Look at it. And we gotta go customize it, too, because like I said, this doesn't look anything like my, uh, my Bronco did in real life. My Bronco is like an orangey yellow color, and this is- this is a lot cooler, I think. Like, the red? Interior's looking good, you know? Not- not very comfortable to drive, I'll tell you that. Hey guys, what do you think of my Bronco? That's great. I also want to take this thing off-roading, because, like I said, it's an absolute beast off-road. And, since I'm gonna be fixing it up anyways, let's see how it crashes real quick. <laughs> I don't know why I want to see that. Oh, nice. It's got to be painted anyways, so we can- we can- <laughs> we can see. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Oh, bro, it like melted on the top there. I need to like drop a car on this or something. Hey guys, how's it going? Just a Bronco on a highway, nothing to see here. Last time this happened, it was terrible. I'm supposed to be off-roading right now, what am I doing? Technically, I'm off-roading. Well, I'm on-road, but... Now that's a little more like it. You know, I- like I said, it's like a yellow color, but... It's yellowy-orange. That's not really a yellow-orange, but I can't find a yellow-orange. Aren't oranges orange, silly? It's vitamin C! That's a- that's a, <laughs> One of the cool things about a Bronco is you can literally take everything off of it. I mean, except for the spare tire, I guess? I don't- I don't know, but... You can take the doors, roof... <laughs> wheels... What did I just open? There's nothing there, man! Alright. <laughs> we gotta take this thing off-roading. Now, especially that it doesn't have doors or a roof. Man, I wanna get all kinds of muddy. I'm not gonna lie, this kinda feels out of place. Like, I know it's meant for off-roading, but like, look at it. It looks like a brand new- well, it is brand new, but a brand new vehicle just sloshing around in the mud. I guess I, uh, I haven't really been off-roading in real life ever. Just once, and it was in the Bronco. It was fun, man. It was fun. Scary, but fun. I wonder how it does up a hill. I mean, that's always the kind of, like, off-road test in GTA. It's like, can it go up a hill? I just smashed into it. Wow. Like, like, I mean, like a straight hill. Like a straight up and down. I'm not talking like a... Oh, boy. Is it all-wheel drive? It is. Not. Is it? Instantly just doubted myself right there. It might be. I'm not sure. Come on now. Come on now. You're embarrassing me in front of my friends. Make it up the hill. Make it up the... It's not a hill, it's a cliff, but... <gasps> oh, Alright. Just off-roading off outside of this, uh, the base here. Very dangerous. You know, they've got tanks in there. Not fun. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, I'm fine. Oh, look, we get mud? Why am I surprised that there's mud there? We were just mudding. Off-roading? I can wash it off. You know, if all those grapes weren't up there, this would be a really cool, uh... Oh, boy. You know what? Never mind. I was joking. I uh, let's talk about those grapes right up there. Uh, yeah, this is like- this is one of the things I was thinking about when I was driving my Bronco sometimes, with the- the roof off of it. I'm like, what happens if I flip over? Am I just gonna fall out and get squished? I can't- I can't flip myself over. Just a normal thing to see, everybody. Stop looking. What are you looking at? Another scientific test is if you can reverse up a hill backwards. It's a pretty good off-road vehicle. Like a steep hill. Like a cliff? I feel like we just had this conversation. Uh, don't ask. Don't- don't ask. I love this spot for off-roading, it's so good. You know, uh-oh. Whoa! Well, clearly it handles going underwater well. A little bit of water never hurt anybody, right? <laughs> Drink some water. Yeah. Yeah, you're thinking what I'm thinking. You're smart. Watch this. Probably the most famous last words ever. Watch this. Come on now! Come on! Yep, yep, don't flip. 
Mm, no. It almost worked. All right, you saw it. Let me try it again. Watch this. Oh, why does it always want to flip over, man? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yup. No problem. Look at that. Ah, ah, I'm good. Like a glove. Yeah, this is this is great. Really good at off-roading. Uh, let's go check out the other two. Now, <laughs> literally like the complete opposite side of the map there from the Bronco. This thing was, l oh man, so much fun to drive. Uh, problem is I live in like the middle of nowhere Canada and there's no McLaren dealers or anything, so. And McLarens are known to just blow up, like, randomly. It's like, you know what? I don't want to be alive anymore. Like, I don't know about this interior though, bro. Like, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a little much. The gauges, they look great. They look accurate, but they're not working. That's fine. Like I said, this also isn't right, so we gotta go to the uh, Los Santos Customs and uh, customize it. But man, such a fast car. Can't wait to, uh, well, am I gonna put- there, it already has a turbo. Should I put another turbo? Yeah, you should always put another turbo. What am I thinking? Clearly you're not thinking, that's all. It's okay though, it happens. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did this a lot in real life too, actually. Just hit stunt jumps and, uh... Ooh, yep. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's way better. Man, oh, that's so weird. Uh, yeah, that, hmm, that's the car. That's really cool. All these are on my Instagram too, by the way, if you guys want to check out my Instagram, it's down in the description. It's just Spears the Amazing HD. <laughs> I'm verified on, on, on there, so. Just so you know it's me. Anyways, let's drive this thing. It's so cool. Why did I say it like that? It's so cool, is what I meant to say. There we go. Uh, kind of want to do a top speed test, so got to find a road around here. It also handles, like, stupidly good, so. No, yeah, I just, it's... <sighs> yeah, driving in first person's not the greatest thing ever, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh, yeah. Uh, just casual 180 mile an hour. Through. That actually handles super well. What? I'm so sorry. It's not my fault. I got to have a seatbelt on. All right. I was doing the speed limit, officer. <laughs> uh, just 180 mile an hour. That's all right. You know, minus all the crashing and stuff. It's this is similar to how I drove it in real life. I'm not gonna lie. And I get a check engine light every now and then and be like, oh, uh oh, yikes. Because a check engine light on a McLaren either means it's gonna blow up or you like. You have a burnt out light somewhere, or it's just something like that. It's just little things. Nothing big. I was gonna say, let's take this thing off roading. Terrible idea. Terrible idea. I wish we had like a racetrack around here. That'd be kind of cool, you know? Like a, like a drag strip racetrack. That'd be the coolest thing ever. Oh. But no, you know what we got? Airport. Hey, let me drive the plane. Hey. Hey. This guy's coming in. I'm. <laughs> let me race this plane landing really quick. Oh, okay. A little faster than I thought it would be. Oh, get smoked. Easily. 180 miles an hour. Bro, if that jet was doing 180 miles an hour and was landing, I don't think it would still be in one piece. I think it would be in multiple pieces. Pardon me, I'm driving here. This isn't a spot- Oh yeah, that- that was kinda cool. Can't say I've ever done that in real life. <laughs> oh yes, Jeeves is here with my private jet. Hello, Jeeves. Is that Jeeves or Mr. Clean? I can't tell. That's Mr. Clean. A hundred percent. Hey, shouldn't you be cleaning something? I don't- that wasn't good. I mean, this thing was doing 180 miles an hour through the city. I can only imagine what it's good. Yeah. It's a little bit quicker. 200. What are we doing now? 300 miles an hour. 350, 370. No braking. Who needs that? Oh, look at the crash rate. That's perfect. Smashing a fence at almost 400 miles an hour. Nothing happens. Surprisingly, it actually handles pretty good at 300, which is weird. Also, I'm holding this steering wheel like a, like a very distinguished gentleman right now. Look at that. Mm, yes. I mean, my, well, kind of. It's like my pinkies popped and everything. It's like I'm drinking some tea. <clears throat> it's a British car, all right? It's British, so. You know what the best feeling in the world is? When you drive by a GTA NPC and they go, that's a nice car there. Even though the front of it is completely destroyed, what is in my hand right now? I <laughs> don't, put that away. What are you doing? Such a cool car. I, you know, I feel like this is the complete opposite of the scale from that car. Like, well, we gotta change the color and everything, but look how the doors open. That's the biggest thing, you know? Doors open normally normal car. I'm just kidding. This thing is like an actual beast. It sounds so good too. Um, not right now. Maybe we got to put an exhaust on it. I don't know, but in real life it sounds great. The interior looks great too. Like, psh, it's nice, comfortable, luxurious, fast, huh? I feel like it's not going to be as fast as the McLaren though, especially like in a straight line, but uh, around a racetrack this thing's fast. It's confusing though. They call it an AMG GTR and people are like, oh, this would be like the, like the Nissan GTR. No. Now that's... That's much better. What'd you do to her now? <clears throat> right? God, that is very iconic. That's a little too green, uh, like you guys see from the picture there, but, uh, or saw from the picture. But, you know, it's close. It's close enough. 
It's, an, it's such a nice car, man. For some reason, I feel like the interior looks better, too, from painting it green. I don't know how that makes any sense. That makes no- well, green is a good color. You guys know I like green. I like green, blue. What's your favorite color? Green, yellow, green, blue. All of them are cool. I just don't like boring colors. Red's a cool color, you know? I mean, we were doing 180 through the city in the- in the McLaren, so... Ooh, this is- <laughs> 130 isn't 180, is it? It's a little bit- I'm not good at math, but, uh, those numbers don't add up. Let's try it here. We got a bit of a straightaway. Uh... uh. I mean, honestly, I can't believe that. I can't believe you, sir. No, why are you getting out? Uh, look at you running into your own door, weirdo. I'm- I'm not in the wrong, I'm just trying to do a top speed run through the city. Just smash into a truck. Alright, let's try that again. It feels like it handles better, though, which doesn't make any sense. Like, at all. But, just- Oh, 160? 180? No way! Alrighty then. So, through the city, not bad. Bumper's a little messed up, that's fine. We can bu- Oh! Bro! Melted my headlight! That's- That's fine. That's fine. I feel like it, it drifts really well, too. Watch this, hold on. You ready for this? Look at that. I didn't mean that, but I meant like casual drifting, not well, like slight sliding. Not dr I don't know how to drift. So like, like say I need to take this turn, like that kind of stuff feels really, really stable. As I smash into the back of a family cut Just embarrassing myself at this point. That's all I'm doing. Oh, this thing is fast. Uh oh. I'm what did I just get? I got hooked on the bumper of the bus? Yep, I sure did. Wow, I'm losing body- I'm losing weight, or glass, doors, bumpers, melting. Actually, you know what, that's like weight reduction, so I'm not really upset about it. I'm actually not upset at all about it. See, that would have been nice if that sign wasn't there. <sighs> come on, come on, redeem it, redeem it. Yep, still, it's the signs, man. The signs, the people, the roads, <laughs> it just shouldn't be driving. I should be flying. Bro, GTA 6 is gonna be so, so good. Like, I can't even- just thinking, like, driving these cars in the- in- in GTA 5 is like, just kind of teasing me for GTA 6, because GTA 6 is gonna have some crazy cars, man. And the graphics, and the sounds, and the crashing, everything, and the drifting, you know, probably better than this. That's pretty good, actually. Look at- look at me. Alright. That was nice. Could've crashed there a thousand times, but I didn't. No, I like, crushed my car, like, to complete pieces, basically, driving 180,000 miles per hour. I don't know why I said 180,000, that was very weird. I couldn't imagine going that- I didn't think this would actually work. <laughs> my brain's melting. How do I get out, though? Oh, I just- Yeah. Alright, fix her up. <laughs> do I have to fix it? Don't worry, I got this. No problem, look at that. Perfect. Little, uh, uh-huh. Yeah, it's fixing itself. Look. Look, watch this. You want to fix this car? Hit that like button in one, two, three. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> you, you just did that. <laughs> I like to be interactive, you know what I mean? It's, it's a good thing. I don't even need these wrenches or anything. Who needs that stuff? Not spears, that's for sure. Well, I'm gonna go cry over all the vehicles that I've sold. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.